Good day and welcome back to the Vitality Project. I'm Dr. Bob. Yesterday we asked ourselves the question, where in my life have I experienced shame? Plus, if you remember, there was an accompanying question, a follow-up question, namely, how do I define shame? Curious, what did you come up with? When I asked this same question, uh, or these same questions, in addiction treatment center groups uh, that I lead each week, the most common answer I get to the definition of addiction, is uh, of, of shame, is this. Shame uh, is when I feel bad about who I am. Guilt, on the other hand, is when I feel bad about something I've done. Might seem like splitting hairs, but it's an important distinction. Uh, one shorthand definition that I like for shame is simply this. It's self-blame. And by self-blame, what I'm talking about in regards to shame is that when I, it's when I blame myself, who I am, for whatever I may have done or perhaps left undone. But I'm sure it raises the question for a lot of people, and that is, why does this even matter? Uh, like I said earlier, aren't we just splitting hairs uh, with this distinction between guilt on the one hand and shame on the other? Well, not really. And let's see why. For today, I want each of us to spend a few quiet moments in personally reflecting on this distinction that we're making between guilt, which is feeling bad about something I've done, and shame, which is feeling bad about who I fundamentally am. Can you identify differences in your own experience, for example, in the feeling tone that's different uh, inside of you when you draw upon your own memories of having had some version of guilt on the one hand, feeling bad about something you've done, and shame on the other, which is feeling bad about who you are? I want to ask you this. What difference did shame as opposed to guilt make in your own life? Uh, and maybe I can help you by being more specific. For example, around being able to make amends or to apologize, what difference did it make for you to experience guilt for what you'd done or shame for who you were? So that would be one piece. Another practical application would be, how did it go for you in terms of moving forward to correct your behavior uh, beyond the mistakes, maybe sometimes even costly ones that you may have made in the past? How did it affect you to feel bad about what you've done on the one hand, to feel bad about who you are on the other hand? So let's leave it open to see what you come up with. We'll be expanding and deepening into this conversation about shame and its relevance not only to addiction, but to recovery in, in our uh, coming posts here together at the, at the Vitality Project. I want to thank you for joining me today. Uh, please do stay safe and be well and come back and join me tomorrow here.